Men are good, as are you. Men are indeed good, as are you, and fathers are essential. You know, recently Warren Farrell wrote an op-ed in the Florida Politics about the damages and dangers of fatherlessness and the benefits and blessings of having dads around. It's a succinct look at this whole problem. And let's have Warren uh, tell us the story. Florida tackles divorces damage. When the women's movement resurfaced in the late 1960s, I fought for an expansion of opportunities for women and girls by serving on the board of the National Organization for Women in New York City. A half century later, I'm really proud of the progress that women have made, but sad that we have ignored the boy crisis in both the U.S. and globally that has grown in its wake. When I did the research for what became the boy crisis, I initially investigated 10 causes. They led me to discover that the boy crisis resides where dads do not reside. The boy crisis is then caused predominantly by a fatherhood crisis. Florida is in the process of becoming the nation's pioneer in the reversal of this crisis. Its House and Senate are the first in the nation to address that underlying cause with two legislative solutions. First, funding programs to mitigate the fatherhood crisis, and second, by addressing one of the primary causes of the fatherhood crisis, divorces that lead to courts depriving children of equal access to their own dad. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Is there really a boy crisis? Yes, here's just a bit of the evidence. It is a crisis of mental health. At the age of nine, boys and girls' suicide rates are the same. Between 10 and 14, boys commit suicide twice as often as girls. And between 15 and 19, four times as often. It is a crisis of physical health. Boys and men are dying earlier in 14 out of 15 of the leading causes of death. And young men's sperm counts have dropped 60%, affecting both sexes' ability to have children. It is a crisis of education. In the 53 largest developed nations, boys are falling behind girls in almost every academic subject, especially in reading and writing, the biggest predictors of success. Boys will be only half as likely to graduate from college as girls. Think of that as the, from the girl point of view. Most college graduate females want college graduate males. It is a crisis of shame. Boys who hear that masculinity is toxic, see dads on TV as bumbling fools, and hear in junior high that the future is female, that doesn't inspire boys to feel inspired for their future. What's the evidence, though, that the fatherhood crisis is the primary cause of the boy crisis? Just for starters, when Dr. Richard Warshock asked more than 100 of the world's most respected psychologists and researchers to assess what led children to do best after divorce, their answer was unanimous, equal shared parenting. It came to be called the consensus report because of that unanimity. My own findings in the research for the boy crisis revealed four must-dos if children of divorce are to fare as well as children in an intact family. Number one is equal time with both mom and dad. That was by far the most important, equal time with both mom and dad. Number two, parents living within about 20 minutes drive time from each other so that the children didn't resent going to the other parents' home because they had to give up being with their favorite friend's birthday party or give up their soccer practice. Number three, no bad-mouthing of the absent parent. Bad-mouthing of the absent parent is bad-mouthing that half of that child who is the absent parent. Number four, consistent couples communication counseling, not just counseling, at the moment of an emergency, because then both parents try to prove that they're right, 
but counseling that is consistent, that allows both parents to have an understanding of the best intent of the other parent. Both girls and boys suffer from dad deprivation in more than 70 ways. That's 70 ways. Without a same-sex role model, though, boys suffer more intensely. A few examples. Dad deprivation is the single biggest predictor of suicide, but especially for males. When socioeconomic variables are controlled for, it is also a leading predictor of obesity, of addiction to video games, of alcoholism, of death by opioid overdose, of both bullying and being bullied, of having to drop out of high school, of being unemployed or street homeless, of committing crimes, of being imprisoned, even of joining ISIS and becoming a mass shooter. Hitler Youth exploited the vulnerability of dad-deprived boys as have Catholic priests, as in the movie Spotlight, as have gang leaders, as have drug dealers, creating artificial families to substitute for loving families. The fastest way to reduce the involvement of government is to increase the involvement of dads. When I ran for governor of California, I discovered the degree to which prisons are basically centers for dad-deprived males. Government doesn't just pay for their crimes. It also funds the police to prevent the crimes and finances the prisons to house the criminals. The more dad involvement, the less we need the involvement of government. We need the the involvement of government less to pay for everything from the costs of mental health to the comorbidities of obesity and addictions that increase COVID deaths, COVID deaths. And the more dad involvement, the less need for Patriot Act type limitations of freedoms that emanate from dad deprived men joining ISIS or committing mass shootings. How do we get dads involved? One of the things I've discovered by looking historically is that when we tell men they are needed, men respond. Think for a moment. Every generation had its war or its wars. When we told men that Uncle Sam needed those men, men responded by being willing to die so that the rest of us could survive. But since we've traditionally told moms that they were needed to raise children while dads raised money, dads now need to know exactly why they are also needed in the family. Both moms and dads need to know, for example, that dad-style parenting, such as boundary enforcement, helps create the postponed gratification that is the single biggest predictor of our children's success. Dads need to know that moms know this, that moms know that boundary enforcement, for example, when integrated with dad-style parenting, such as roughhousing, counterintuitively increases children's empathy. That's right. Rough housing combined with dad style parenting actually leads to an increase in, in children's empathy. It also increases the children's social skills, such as being able to distinguish as a result of rough housing combined with boundary enforcement to be able to distinguish assertiveness from aggressiveness and well-developed social skills leads to more friendships and to children, therefore, who are more motivated, less tuned out, happier, less likely to be depressed. Every mom needs to know that a dad sharing the burdens and joys of raising children can also reduce her experience of being overwhelmed, as well as often feeling guilty about not being her best self either for the children or for her career. When a mom knows that children with fully involved dads benefit in more than 70 ways, she will care. And when a career-oriented mom knows she can be a, quote, have-it-all woman with a successful career, a well-raised children, and a happy marriage, if she marries and also respects 
a nurturer, connector type of man who's involved with raising the children rather than a provider protector man who's involved only with raising money. We can all benefit from that mom's success and her well-raised children. It is time to no longer limit men's sense of purpose to killing and being killed. It is time to address the fatherhood crisis by encouraging a new sense of male purpose, loving and being loved. We all live in the same family boat. When only one sex wins, both sexes lose. You can find Warren Farrell at warrenfarrell.com or on Twitter at at Dr. Warren Farrell or Warren also posts at menaregood.com. You can find Tom Golden at menaregood.com or on social media at at T.R. Golden or on Patreon at patreon.com slash menaregood. Men are good as are you.